morning. Welcome, welcome. I am Christy from Christy's Stampin' Spot. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the United States. Welcome, welcome. Good morning on this Monday, May uh, 6th. I hope everyone had a great, fun weekend, whether you were a nerd and were um, doing the Star Wars. Star Wars May the 4th be with you, um, or Cinco de Mayo is um, your your holiday. Um, I hope you guys had a fun and safe weekend. Welcome, welcome. Let's, let's get some crafting in. So I'm going to play today with um, the new uh, Global Design Project. Um, if you have followed me for a while, you know that I usually do that and, on my blog. And they have changed some of their things, and so I pulled it up this morning. I'm going to play with it. Now, I have not pre-made this card, so you guys are going to get to see me, like, try to create something. Pretty much, I've picked out um, a stamp set, and that's basically all I've got going for me. So, let me go ahead and make sure that we are all good where we're at. Let me check my um, phone. Let's see if it looks good. Um, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I'm running a little bit late this morning. I We were um, out of town all weekend, and I actually had a craft weekend, so I had almost all of my um, craft room <laughs> went with me. So I was definitely out of, everything was out of pocket, so to speak. Um, so I'm just making sure that I have gone live where I'm supposed to be. And let's see. Do, do, do. Gosh, yeah, it's always hard trying to figure out what you're doing. Okay, look, there I am. Yep. Oh, 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 and there's sound. That's always, that's like the biggest thing. I seem to have trouble with my sound. It looks like it's all good, which is awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And let me uh, turn you guys down. So we are, um, what, day six into our new catalog. I love this new catalog. It's so pretty. Hopefully you guys have all had a chance to peruse it. Um, if you don't have um, a physical copy, the digital copy is available um, in my online store. Um, you can look at the very bottom on, on the online store, and it actually shows you where the digital catalog. Or, of course, you can always type it into the search function. Or, of course, you can find it multiple places, like in the top bar and on the sidebar on my website. But um, if you want a um, physical copy of, and you live in the United States and you don't have a demonstrator, um, just you can totally request a catalog and I'll get one out to you. Um, it's really fabulous. And it's a little different than our, or our normal catalogs, it's, but it is a great resource. It has some really fun features in it. Um, and we're actually going to play with the Seaside Wishes today. And... Um, it is one of our new bundles, and it is the hybrid. Um, it is a hybrid um, folder, embossing folder. And when you see that word, this is um, hybrid. That means um, when you purchase this, um, these two come together, the dies and the embossing folder, um, because they can co they coordinate together. And or you can get the bundle, which is which is all three pieces. Um, and of course, you can just get the stamp set as well. But I love the Seaside Wishes. You can see there's those pretty. I think um, the last video I actually showed you this card, and that was the, um, the when you see this little symbol, that means it's a layout from page 22, the 22 layouts on page 22 of the catalog, which is exciting. So I haven't played with this. This came Friday. Um, it is a gorgeous stamp set. It looks like it's distinctive. Beautiful, love, 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 um, and and it shows here at 85. So that means they're much big. They're kind of big. Look how gorgeous that is, and it has some fun sentiments. The your apps, you absolutely made my day. Your friendship is the best gift. Love you. Sometimes the simplest things mean the most. So that's a really gorgeous. I love um, sand dollars. That's what I'm collecting at the beach, and then here is a beautiful um, our. Uh, is it the embossing folder? You guys see that? I don't know if you can see that. It's good. I need to put some colored cardstock. So we're going to use this 
um, today I'm going to use it both ways. So I'll show you guys. And like here's the dies, right? So this piece right here will fit inside the um, the dies. This die like pops out. So when you um, do this, you can put your you can die cut your. Oh, we got it this way. Ah, you know how it goes by. There we go. There we go. Kind of, kind of goes right there into place. I mean, it doesn't like really pop, pop, but you can feel it. Like it goes into the groove, and then you um, run it through um, your with your paper in it, and it'll cut those out. But we're gonna do both things. I'm gonna run it through without um, the die, and then we're gonna run it through with the die. Okay, so we'll do both of those today. Um, and then, of course, it ha the dies come with, um, I believe these cut out the starfish right here, right line, and then we've got some seaweed, and then two really pretty sand dollar with, um, that look a little bit different, uh, extra pieces. So that's pretty awesome. I love, I love our dies. They're always so fabulous. Um, there we go. Let me see. Oh, it's the starfish is the big piece, right? Yeah, okay. And then I, I pulled out my other, our other two. I didn't grab, I didn't grab the dies for the Beauty of the Deep. Um, but it has some pretty images and the turtles. I think I'm going to use the turtles. I love this turtle set. It is, they're both, these both carried over, but this turtles is a reversible. And I love turtles. Turtles are one of my favorites. So um, I thought maybe we'll use it because, let's see, let's put this away. I'm going to try to make this. Now, if you guys see um, Global Design Project um, is a group of, of um, very talented um, card makers. Um, and they hold weekly challenges. And before, we used to go to the website to see that. But now they've moved um, for 444. They are moving um, their challenges to Instagram and Facebook. So you're welcome to. They, they love it when everybody um, uh, participates. Um, it's always, you know, the more of the participate, the better. And um, it is... Uh, you can you just tag them with the hashtag GDP444 to, to enter, and I think you have till Sunday. Um, but you can see um, if you follow them on Facebook or Instagram, they just posted all the new um, rules, so you can check that out. So this today is this case of the designer. So this week's this case of the designer. Here is a really pretty card by um, Kaylee Renee. If you remember, um, you, these butterflies or paper butterflies are still available. I think, to, but this watermelon was, um, I believe this was from a celebration, the last celebration. And these beautiful rays, that actually, that background stamp just retired. So I, I still have that, the background rays. And I thought maybe I could use that and change it up. But I decided I was going to just um, kind of go for the layout. So she used a background stamp, and then she used a circle, and then she, that, you know, that kind of at matched the, um, her, uh, so, you know the images that matched and kind of like it, it's bunched in the middle of the of like the focal point of her um, background stamp and then she added some extra stuff so I thought oh you know what I could totally do that with um, this this die so I think our the um, this bundle so I think I'm going to use this and so this focal point is going to be right here in the center um, so we'll see how that works like I I just, like said, I got, I was out all weekend, and I literally was putting my, my, um, my uh, craft room back together just so I can come and, and, and hang out with you guys. You guys have some coffee? Mm. Oh my gosh, the beverage is so yummy. Mm -hmm. um, I'm definitely a coffee super coffee okay so I'm thinking about using that new our new beige so one of the things that besides the um, in colors that we got um, for um, with this new catalog is also we've got a new color and I haven't played with it I did get the paper and of course the um, stuff but I thought maybe we could play with it today because it is kind of a um, the beige is is kind of sand colored. So let me pull that out. Let's grab a piece of this um, beige. I 
love it, love it, love it. Maybe it's some very vanilla. I'm not sure. Maybe. Let's see. Where is my very vanilla? Um, okay, let's put my basic beige back. Get a pack of that. We'll get some very vanilla. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Is the very vanilla or does the white look better with it? With the beige. Um, you know what? I think I want to try the berry vanilla with the um, with the basic beige. It kind of seems more seaside. So I'm going to use those kind of colors of the sand. Um, if I'm thinking. That's kind of like what I'm thinking of. Um, let's see. Let's put that back in there. Do, do, do. Okay. So I like my... Um, See, did I put my right blade back on? Yes, I did. I usually don't use very vanilla or basic white for my card bases. Um, I really do like using the colored cardstock. That's like one of the things that I think I've really changed over the years. Um, back in the when I first started uh, making cards, I I really just used basic white. Um, or we had a confetti white um, that I used a lot. Uh, it's it's been a long time since we've had that. Or naturals white. We had a couple of different. Um, specialty white papers um, that I used, but mostly I use white for my base, and now I never use white, almost, almost never use white. Um, I'm going to use, but I'm going to, so I'm going to use the basic beige, which is very similar. It's very light, so it's very similar to very vanilla in that it's, it doesn't have that big a, a color uh, variance, and then of course I cut my card stuck in half at the, at the, um, four and a quarter so it's 11 by four and a quarter because i love this up the up fold if i bone fold or crease that nice okay so there's that so i love this okay so i want to use this i think i want to do i think it needs like a layer underneath so let's do a layer and i love to do my layers at five and three eighths by four and an eighth. So there we go. Now we have a layer. I'll layer that on there like that. And then I think I'm going to cut. So I'm going to cut this off. And I want this to be the four and five and a quarter. So I need five and a quarter by four. And that's going to be my embossed um, I'm going to emboss that one. Okay, so this one I'm just going to plain emboss, and I'm just going to put it in my um, folder, my embossing folder. Now, this is a 3D, and I kind of remember I wanted this to be the focal point, the center. So I'm going to try to put my paper in here so that the center right here is kind of the center of my page. My my um thing. So I'm gonna go over here to my cut and boss. And when you make when you have a 3D, you need the you need your plate and your um your gray plate. What gray? What's the number on the gray plate? Do do number four. Your number four. And remember always put your um embossing folder with the the edge to the top because it squishes it. And it and um, and kind of elongates it. So so sometimes when you're doing your embossing, it makes your page just a little bit. Your measurements aren't like it doesn't come out exactly at four and five and a quarter. Oh my gosh, guys, this is beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, all right. So we said this is what I'm doing, and um, I'm gonna put that on here. So this is what I want to do right here like this. Oh, that's so pretty. That. And now I think, let's see, I need, I think maybe I'm going to cut, let's do, let's see what it looks like. Let's, let's do a, um, let's make some very vanilla sand, um, sand dollars, and then we'll make some crumb, um, not crumb, well, maybe I should make a crumb cake one. And the base, another in basic beige. So we'll make a couple of colors of um, the sand dollars. So you wanna, I've got my, um, it's in there pretty good, my, my die into my embossing folder. Place my paper over top, and I didn't cut this one down. I could have cut it down, but I didn't. 
because these are going to cut these sand dollars out. Okay, so then I'm going to go over here, and again, because this is still the um, 3D embossing folder, I'm just using the, the number four, the gray number four embossing plate over the top, and it actually cuts it right inside. It cuts it right inside your embossing folder. So let's see. Ooh, isn't that pretty? This is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Okay, so set that aside. So look at that. Look at those, you guys. They're so pretty. Okay, so there is some very vanilla. Let's do. Let's make a. Um, let's make some um, basic beige. Let me get this hooked. Oh, there it goes. And then put the paper down. Oops. And then let's do crumb cake. I'll make another crumb cake one. Oh, let's do a crumb cake one just to just in see what the color variation. Although I really like using I've got this two the two colors. What is that? Mo uh, monochromatic, the very vanilla and the basic beige. And I haven't used done any stamping yet. There we go. It's pretty. Oh, look at that, you guys. Ah, oh, so pretty, so pretty. Okay. All right, so let's see. Let's get. Like I said I want to try the. Um, these are just getting better and better. Crumb cake. It's down here. Do do. Yeah, I love that I have got my. Um, my paper is just like right here at the side, so I can pull it out. And look through it. Um, wherever I need it. Just knock into my. Mic. Funny sound. Okay, so now I need a piece. So um, I'm gonna cut this. Do do. This one I'm just gonna cut it book fold. Get it down. Crinkle that side. So I'm gonna use that side. Okay. So I've just cut it at um, uh, in the fourth, which is the. Um, Four, it'll be four and a quarter by five and a half. So again, I'm just gonna make some crumb cake. Set that back in. Oh, it's so nice. I love these. Do do do. It would probably be pretty to use the brayer and add ink to this too. But let's not play with that today. <laughs> I don't think I'm up to um, adding ink to my embossing folder. That can be messy. Be prepared for that. And oh my gosh, it's still early for me. I know it's what, eight, eight something. Yeah, eight forty-five. Ah, here we go. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Oh, oh, it looks awesome. Go with that with the pretty with the gray. Basic beige. It's gorgeous. Okay, so now we've made a bunch of those. So let's see. What does it got? It's got a um, got. These are, it's just so pretty. Let's see if we can make, so it's got a couple of different images, right? Um, here we go. Looks like there's, their background is a little bit smaller, but this is my basic. I really, I really like this format, the, um, the five and three eighths and four and one eighth. And then the next layer is um, the four and five and a quarter. And I use that a lot. Um, I know that when I do my impressions of ink um, tutorials, a lot of the times those are my basic measurements, and then they have it in the um, metric, which is nice. Okay, so look at that. So why don't we, we can layer these on. That looks pretty. Look at that. Ooh, nice. Okay, so now if we do it like that. It's very similar. Let's see, is that maybe that's too big? Let's see. Maybe I need to have a smaller, smaller one. And then use maybe use the smaller ones. What do you guys think? Does it look better with the smaller ones? Oh, this big one is just so pretty. I kind of like this all the big one. And then use the mm, here we go. Do, do, do. 
needs to be that one and then this one on the top like that. So kind of get it. You see what I'm saying? How you just you just kind of you, this is a great starting. You use these, um, you know, when you case a designer. And case means to, um, when we say case, what does it change? And selectively edit. Um, or copy, I'm sorry. Copy and selectively edit. Or um, share everything. Um, there's like a, a bunch of different ways to say the case. But it's, you know, usually we just say this is who's, um, card that we saw that inspired us and that is really all you need although let's see maybe if I turn it around maybe I want it to be this way oh what do you guys think kind of like it better that way that I know the white is up there but now it looks better I think it looks better with the white on the bottom and I like I don't know it looks like there might be a little bit of white thread but they know they use the thread around in the circle. I do like white, the white thread. I had my white baker's twine here. Um, I do love, I love bows. I like a little bow of this. I don't know if that'll work. I was, I think one of the um, cards I made the other day, I forgot to put the bow on. I like made the bow, I think it was the, the bow and I forgot to put the bow on. I sometimes do that. I didn't need it. Um, I was going to put it on. I think that was the thread. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. So here is our bow. We cut it. I'm going to make the thread long. We can cut it down. And then we need a, this says enjoy your day. It's two different and they've embossed it. I probably would like to emboss, but I think, I think I want to use the crumb cake, um, because the beige will be too light. I think and um, I was thinking I wanted to add another thing on there but I don't think I need to I think it looks looks great just with this this stamp set it's just beautiful um, sometimes let's see what did they how did they they just had enjoy your day um, it's almost like I really want to put hello on this but these are really beautiful sentiments I do love hello and I think I have mentioned my favorite new stamp set is that Simply Set. It has a lovely hello in it. Um, and here's my Simply Set. I do love Simply Set. Oops, I knocked my, I lost my mic. Hopefully I didn't lose any of the, I thought I had it clipped on. Oh my gosh. It's a little trouble with my fingers. Okay, so I love the Simply Set. I think the hello would look really pretty on there. Just a little hello because hello is my favorite. <laughs> I know. It's my favorite. It makes nice, simple cards. This is my stamp positioning tool. I just really into my stamp positioning tool. And I want to put this on very vanilla. Um, you know what? That's kind of cool. I think let's let's cut it twice. Let's cut it. Let's let's stamp it once and then stamp it. Oh, I wonder if I can stamp it on this side. Maybe I can. All right, let's see. Let's cut this down. We'll do it once. I was thinking I like the the bubbles, right? Like the sand, how it has the sand pieces, but I you can't really. It's really hard to stamp on that. But you know what? We might be able to stamp on this side of it. Although, I don't know if I can use my stamp and position tool for that. It might not stick because of the emboss. But it might. You never know, can tell. Let's see. No. Um, maybe I need, I'll need a piece of tape for this. So it's a little bit harder to do it with the, um, when you have, oh, I have pumpkin pie. Let's see. What do you guys think? I think early espresso will be too, too much. Pumpkin pie might be too much. Let's try the crumb. The crumb cake might be dark enough, right? So let's see. It might be too much but to put it on, um, on this. Let's see. Might be. I think I need to re um, re ink my crumb cake. My 
crumb cake. But I think that looks nice. Okay, so let's cut that. Now let's see, what do you guys think? Um get off. Let me put it away. This is my favorite stamp, so I want to not lose it. Let's put that back. I've cleaned it off of my chamois right here. Let me put that back in there. I do not want to lose that. So the only problem with photopolymer is I have a ten tendency to lose my photopolymer. Okay, so let me pull my um, thing back in here. So let's see. I'm just going to trim it down. And I'll, of course, have the measurements. It'll be harder to do straight. There we go. And I think the bottom, you know what, I think the bottom I want to rip like this. So that looks nice. And then I need to get the top a little bit shorter. You of course could use your paper snips to do this too. But, ooh, I kind of like that. What do you guys think? that nice and then you can put it on top so it's kind of simple but um this stamp um this embossing folder is absolutely gorgeous and it's um it's really gorgeous it does all the work and i just that was a piece of the the very vanilla that i turned over right so the the bumps are on this side so i stamped flat. Um, it's harder to, to do on the bumps. But on the flat side, that is a nice way to do it. And then I have a nice long tag to go with it. And then it needs some kind of bling. All right. So I think I like that. I think I'm pretty happy with the way that one turned out. And then it needs, definitely needs some kind of bling. I miss those. I miss these. Hope you guys got some of those iridescent rhinestones. I know they, you'll still be seeing me using them because I love them so much. I bought some extras. I want to try to use something new. Should I got something new? Um, but I don't know what I have that would work with this. Um, let's see. As I go through, I went. Um, I dropped some of my. Oh, I love, I love the pretty in pink. It's one of my favorite ink colors. Um, I'm very excited about it. Let's see. Oh, there's the peacock ones. With the gold. Oh, you know, that's what I should use is the, the little gold ones. Um, uh, what are those? They're tiny. The little, um, here we go. These ones. Those ones are pretty. Okay, now we still have to glue, glue this down and do an inside layer. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take all these. I've got to re. I've got to redo. It's all kind of a mess. <laughs> I need to get that all clean. I um made a complete mess. And these are the iridescent foil gems. And these are in the um catalog. So these are still current. So you guys can totally get those. I like those. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so let's. Let's glue this together, and then, but right before I do that, I need to, let me cut in very vanilla, um, I'll do a couple things. Let's get a very vanilla inside piece, and I like my inside pieces to be four, um, three and seven eighths. Three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And if you had cut that first you, and you don't want to use your um, this piece, you could always use that. that. So there you go. That's my inside piece. And then because my, um, oh, you know what? I like the crumb cake. Let's get a piece of the crumb cake. I'm going to do two layers. Let's do a four. You know how I love to put a, a strip on the inside and the back of the card? So I want them um, when I when I do the upfold, I like them to be um, a half inch by uh, four in, four inches. So I'm going to cut two of these. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run these back through the embossing folder. And this is the crumb cake. I'm going to run them back through my embossing folder. I should put it. This is big goes on that. 
I'm going to run it through here. And I kind of want it to be, I want this, the pebbles, right? The, the bumpy stuff. So I'm going to put them over here on the edges. You see that? I put it in on the edges so I get mostly that, the, the bumpy, sandy piece instead of the pretty um, sun, uh, sundials, uh, starfish. Um, oh, no, it moved. That's funny. It still looks pretty, though. Sand dollar. Look, it moved. But I think it looks pretty. That. Maybe I should have just done the, the, sand, uh, the sand dollar. Is that, look how pretty those are. But that works. Muy bien. So that's what I'll do for me, uh, my um, inside. Awesome. And I'll just, I can probably put, thinking of you on the inside. Hello, thinking of you. Okay, so we want to do this. Let's put, we can put the sand dollar on the inside too. It's pretty. All right, so let's glue that on. Not pretty. So this has m not very much stamping, right? It's so pretty. Okay, there's my hello. Again, I want to use that same, um, I want to use the crumb cake, and I need to, definitely need to, um, get my crumb cake needs to be re-inked. I'll probably do that after the fact. Well, I can show you guys how to do that. Do you have you guys had to re-ink any of your um, ink pads? Let's make sure I got that even. Do, do, do. I can pull up my, my ink refill and show you how I'll do that after I do this. Do, do, do. I want to do it. You want to let it set after you um, re-ink your, your, um, your pad because it's super juicy. And you can sometimes get it uneven. You need to let it soak in for a little bit. Oh, I was going to put thinking of you on the inside, not hello. So it's not exactly the same. Where is the thinking of you? Do, do, do. What does that look like? Happy birthday. Thanks. Just a note. I feel like I'm blind. Thank you. Thinking of you. Okay. You know what? Let's put it up here at the top. I've been putting them down here on the bottom lately, but let's, this time let's put them at the top. Or, you know, mid down so you can write their name at the top. And then go with that. Okay, I want the crumb cake. That nice and inked up. Pretty. I was thinking I could stamp the. Um, I thought I could stamp the thinking um, the, one of the sand dollars, but we cut a bunch of those up. They are so pretty. We should totally use. We should totally use one of them on the inside. All right, because we have them They're gorgeous. Just love this set. Use that. Okay, and then use one of the little ones. Ooh, here we go. Let's see. Now I made this crumb cake, so you don't want to do the crumb cake one. Um, it's kind of big. So you could cut it. I could put it in there. Let's see. Maybe I need to. Um, what's it, what's it like on the inside? I'll just put it like that. I think that's nice. That's a plenty of space. You can always pull it down a little bit lower and cut it so that, you know, like glue it down and then cut it off like here. But I don't think we need to. Um, that, wait, we have the white one. Let's see, the very vanilla. Yeah, maybe I should just use the very vanilla. 
I like this one, but I've used that one on the front here. So I want to make sure. You could, you could always cut another one, but I think that you shouldn't use the one that's the brown on the brown. I think that one's nice. So let's use the very middle. I think it needs to be smaller. Okay, so let's add my inside layer to my card. Just like that. And then we will add our um, sand dollar. It's really pretty. Guys, this is a really gorgeous um, set. Go. I've got it over the top. So it's like a tone on tone. It's, it's kind of pretty. It's light. I like it a lot. Okay. And then let's, let's glue these together. Okay. So when I glue them, I kind of like to, okay, so we know how we want this to be. So let's sa softly move this over so we know that how we kind of want that to go, right? Oops. Doo -doo -doo. All right, so now let's glue this down. So I'm going to glue my basic beige piece with the, the largest, I've got the largest um, sand dollar at the top on my very vanilla layer. So that's what we've got for our background. If you look at our um, the our global design project, right? Okay, got a, a layer. You can see there's like a small layer of the color around the edge. So now I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down to our card base, basic beige card base. There we go. So this is the first time I've used the basic beige and this Seaside Wishes. It's really pretty. So if you're looking for something that makes gorgeous the Seaside without, oh my gosh, you guys, the detail on, I don't even know if you can see on the camera just how pretty. It is just really gorgeous. These are just gorgeous. Okay, so um, let's get my Stampin' Dimensionals. We know that we want this one to be our center one, right? So let's put that on there. I put them kind of towards the center because remember we're gonna tuck tuck the one underneath. And that's gonna be our center focus. It's a little bit to the side, which looks like that matches kind of how they do it on their global design project. And we're, we're casing it. Like that, right? And then we're gonna put this one on. So this one I'm actually gonna use some glue, maybe. Let's see, do I got that in there? Yeah, so let me pull this up just a little. It looks like I got it um, too. <gasps> I'm tearing it a little bit. Let me get my take a pick tool. There we go. Lift that edge because I definitely want it in much farther than I had it before. Okay, so I'm going to use the glue. There's one edge that's a little bit more where it shows a little bit more. Oh, I was gonna put it down the other way, didn't I? I had the white on the other side. Um, oh well, mm, do I want the white on the other side? No, I'm just gonna do it this way. So I've switched it by putting it on. There we go, of course. And then this one I'm just gonna put like that on there. It looks good though. Okay, let me squish that down. And then I pulled up my um, Stampin' Dimensional. So I'm gonna use a uh, blue dot to on my Stampin' Dimensional so that it sticks back down. Go on top of my Stampin' Dimensional. So if you have to do that, if you have to pull it up, there you go. Okay, so in this one, it's gonna go like this. So I need one, like a half a dimensional cut one of my dimensionals in half here. Let's put that right here. And you know what? Let's use glue dots because it gives it a little bit of height and easier. To, oh, let's see. Let's put, put, put some glue dots on here. 
do you use my my um, take a pick tool to put the glue dots on especially if you've embossed your paper because you've broken the fibers sometimes I find that it, it pulls it up which is annoying okay I want to definitely make it so that they overlap all three of them so there you go like that Not pretty oh so pretty okay so this one um, I kind of want it to go like that yeah and again I'm going to use glue dots because it gives it a little bit of height I mean not very much height but it does give it a little bit more height than glue um, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to have to use more glue dots to put in my um, let's see how do I want that to go my hello kind of Kind of had there's kind of at a catty corner, but not too bad. And then I'm going to use my glue dots again to add my little big white baker's twine um, bow. Just two. I'm just going to kind of mold the glue dots around so that it's not showing. It's just behind the little piece there. Have to be like that. one up to the side because I don't really have a bow on theirs so it's like over here on the edge but I kind of want that um maybe it needs to just go up a little bit higher so I'm going to put it right here in the middle where it they kind of merge the two of those meet that's what I like like in that transition piece <gasps> Ooh, very nice very nice there we go what do you guys think nice all right, now it needs bling. Okay, let's see, I've got a long tag. That, throw that the trash can. Get this away. Okay. Oh, it turned out so pretty. Look at that. Okay, so now we need um, some. What are these? And iridescent foil gems. Okay, let's see how we're doing. Everything looks good. Okay. Awesome sauce. Okay, so I'm going to tape a pick tool and I'm going to add some of these sparkly gems. These are gorgeous. So I don't know if you guys have tried, played with these. These have a little bit of height. Let's try to see how. Where do these look good? I think maybe I want a big one. Let's get a big one. I'm going to put a big one up here. Hmm. Okay, we definitely want to do three. If you don't want to do three, you want to do more. Maybe I want to put one. I'll use the little one right here. Hmm. There. And that, color, that corner, so it's kind of hidden. Oh, I kind of like that. Although this is a really wide, usually you want to do it in like a triangle. But I kind of like the way that, well, let's see, maybe if I, let's see, you're supposed to put them in a triangle, so maybe it'll look better if I move it to right there. It's more of a triangle. I agree, that's probably better, because that's more of a triangle. So you kind of want to bank it in a triangle that was almost a straight line, which is you don't really want a straight line, but I definitely want to put um, this one here next to the ribbon. Um, awesome. What do you guys think? Not pretty. And so I went from, you know, needing a background, a, a, a focal point in the middle um, with circles, with extra pieces. And that's what I came up with. Um, as this is um, casing Kayla, Kayla's pretty card, um, I got. So I will um, post this for um, Global Design Project uh, 444. Um, and I'd love to see if you guys want to also join Global Design. It's always fun to do that. Um, and this is, again, the Seaside, the Seaside Wishes stamp set. Isn't that beautiful? And um, hybrid embossing folder. And I have to say, I 
this is even prettier than I thought it was going to be this embossing folder and um, stamp set. It is just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's just gorgeous. I don't even, <laughs> it's going to be one of my favorites. Isn't that pretty? Oh, love, love, love. There you go. Just the hello. But you, this one would be pretty too if you put, like I said, the brayer inside it. Oh my gosh, you guys. And that's that new basic beige. And it looks really pretty with the basic beige. Um, and a little bit of crumb cake. Oh, I'm very vanilla. Love awesome sauce. Very pretty. Even though it's a white bow on the very vanilla, I think it looks good. Like it. Um, otherwise, I think it would be just too much. Um, very <laughs> vanilla -ish color. It looks pretty, thinking of you. Oh, I didn't do the back. Oh, no. Who to nanny? Okay, so let's put the back on. So we did the crumb cake strip that was embossed by embossing. And just add that to the back. It's pretty. Oh, love, love, love. And then I always do my Stampin' Up! logo because... Um, it's not the same. You know, I guess maybe it's that on the child of the 80s where you do the, um, <laughs> you, you always have to do the, you look for the hallmark on the back. Well, I look for stamping up on the back. And this um, Stampin' Up! logo is from the Stamped with Love, which is in the back. Close this and I'll pull it out and show you guys where you can find that in the catalog. Of course, you can just look for it. Oops, that's the that's a new one. That I've got to take it down and get it. Um, I want to get one by bound. So here's the very back, and there it is right there for our angel policy. So that's a really cute, and they actually show you how you you, you can use it. Um, but stamped with love, right there on the back, and then of course they show you. You can find that online. A little shopping. Super cute. Love, love, love. Okay, so that's the, the angel policy. And that just gives you permission to, if you were going to make these to sell at the craft fair or church bazaar, um, you would have their permission to use their images. Isn't that pretty? Oh, you guys, I just love the way that turned out. So awesome. Okay, so. Oh, I should put my lid back on. Can you see that? Yeah. Sweet. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's beautiful um, Seaside Wishes card. Um, and let's see, a couple things. We're coming up. Today is about the 6th. So the 10th is the last day to get the best there is um, paper pumpkin kit. So if you're loving paper pumpkin, I love paper pumpkin. Make sure that you go on and make sure you get the um, best there is. It's kind of a Father's Day theme, but it matches that gorgeous new paper. Um, what cup the with the country? It's that big giant country suite. Um, let's see if I can find it really quick in here. Where the suites are right here. Here we go. It matches this gorgeous paper right here. Um, let me turn it back. Ah, oh. oh, this one right here on page fifty-one of the new catalog. Um, it's this paper. Isn't that gorgeous. I love this paper so much. That's with that country woods. Um mega bundle that it matches so pretty so it's that paper you can get it that actually matches the um, paper pumpkin um, with the father's day theme um, and you have and the 10th to get that and then of course the dies that coordinate are available now this is the second quarter dies um, the butterflies were for last match last month i love that i believe there are still some um, refills available for that um, the, this fabulous uh, hexagon die is what matches this coming May's kit. And then in June is the thanks. So I believe you can, there might even be some first quarter with the daffodil um, that is still available. Um, but you do need to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber to order that. And you just go online um, in the online store under Paper Pumpkin. Um, it's the past refills um, kits and then add-ons in that tab. And then you can find it, or you can, um, it's a, actually a pull-down menu on my uh, website that you can look and find that information too. And also, when we have a new catalog, they always have a new um, starter kit, uh, 
joining special, not always, but most of the time, and this is no exemption. There is, um, we have a fantastic, fabulous, I mean, our starter kit is always the best deal, so being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is awesome. You don't have to do what I do, which is do videos or have a blog. You know, most uh, Stampin' Up! demonstrators are happy shoppers. They get that 20% discount on products, and they get to pro um, purchase products early. Like being a demo has so many fabulous perks. They have, like, special events um, that are, are just for demonstrators. But the starter kit special, um, if when you... Um, purchase the starter kit to be a demonstrator. It's $99, you get, a, in here in the United States, you get 120, you get to pick $125 worth of product for that $99. Plus, you get like a free paper pumpkin um, sample and free shipping, which is exciting. So on top of all that, you right now, if you join between the 1st and the 31st, and let's see, the 6th, you can also get, um, the uh, in color bundles. So they have um, the, oh, what is the, the, all five of the new in colors are so yummy. A pack, an assorted pack of the cardstock, a pack of the designer chairs paper, and a pack of the markers. Um, and that is like, it's a really great deal. So if um, joining, if you feel like you're, you know, want to join Stamp It Up, there's no, um, you, there, there's no obligation. You could just get the starter kit, get all those that free in color product, um, the $125 product. But I'm telling you, you guys will get to pre order. And next month, we're going to get to pre order online exclusives. So there's always something awesome and um, being in the know. So if Stampin' Up, if you love Stampin' Up products, and you, you know, there's a lot in this new catalog. I, I love that 20% you need a <laughs> discount is so important. I, you know, consider joining my team. I'd love to have you. Um, so on my website, you can see um, all the benefits of joining Stampin' Up! and my team, um, uh, as well as you'll see the all that information in the de description of this video. And of course, I have my shopping link, so if you need any Stampin' Up! products, I appreciate your business um, and, uh, and all of your support. Um, if you're watching this later on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Um, so you can uh, see when I get more videos up, that you you can see those, and you can always share if you know anyone that is loves these fabulous um, uh, the the seaside kind of theme. So pretty, right? I love sand dollars. So pretty. I'm really excited this about this. So much. So um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, have a lovely start of your week, and hopefully I'll see you guys on Wednesday. So happy crafting. Bye.